Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So today's topic is what are the career options that is available for you if you pursue your PhD in AI or machine learning, that is artificial intelligence or machine learning. So since I am doing my PhD in AI machine learning from IIT Kharagpur, so I received this message quite a lot from my subscriber or from those students who are connected who are connected with me through LinkedIn. That what are the career options that is available if I pursue my PhD in AI machine learning? And in specific, in India, what are the career options available? So I have seen that people have this stereotype mindset that if I complete my PhD, probably academia will, will be the only options for me. That is not the case. And that's why I have decided that let's make a detailed video on this. In this video, I will give you all the options that will be available for you once you complete your PhD in AI machine learning from any Indian institutions. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned this video and don't skip the video. But before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. And don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked this video. Without further delay, let's start into today's video. Now, the first career option for you is not academia, it's industry. And 90% of students who have done their PhD in AI machine learning after completion of their PhD, they prefer to join industry. And one of the main reasons behind that is that you will get a huge amount of salary if you complete your PhD and join these uh, top technical companies. Now, there are different kind of roles that you will be offered and you can you can choose to join a particular company. For example, after completing your PhD in AI machine learning, you can choose to join a product-based company or a startup company as a software developer or in an HD role. Uh, obviously, you know, I personally feel that after completing PhD, after having so much expertise in a research area, if you join as a SD, that's kind of non-utilization of all the skills that you have learned for the last five years of your PhD. But it might happen that you haven't you know, liked the process of research and you, you, you like to join big companies in as a SD role uh, with, with a good salary. So that's why I have seen a few people, they prefer to join as a SD role in, in different top product-based companies or top MNC. So that is number one option. The next choice is you can join as a data scientist or a data engineer or an applied scientist position. So these are typically the machine learning or AI development role uh, profile which you typically get even after your MTech. But the advantage is that if you join after PhD, probably you will get one level promotion and obviously the salary will be more. So data scientist role that is always available for you where you can join any product-based companies like Flipkart, Amazon, LinkedIn, or maybe different startups also as a data scientist. The third and final option is to join as a researcher or a research scientist in different big research lab who is doing research in AI and machine learning. And in India, we have quite a few options in this category. For example, there is Google Research Lab, Microsoft Research Lab, Adobe Research, IBM Research Lab. So these are the labs which are doing active research in AI machine learning. And if you feel that after completing your PhD in AI machine learning, you want to continue your research, then you can join as a researcher or research scientist in these companies. But you know, it's very difficult, it's very competitive. You should have a very good profile uh, after your PhD, then only you know, you can crack the interview of these four big research labs. There are a few others also. And you can join these labs in their research core research team as a research scientist or a research engineer. Now, one question typically many of the students have asked me that can I have an international offer after doing my PhD from Indian institutions like IITs or ISC? From my experience, I will say it's very much possible, but I have seen very few people have done it in, in, in past. Uh, so maybe 10 to 15 percent students every year, they can, you know, crack the interview and, and manage to get an offer in the, in the, in the foreign, uh, foreign job location of a particular company. Uh, so for that, the main criteria is that you should have, again, you should have a very good profile. And then only maybe you can, you can crack the interview and you can convince them that you can, you can do great work even in the foreign location. Now, there is another way to get a foreign uh, foreign location offer or an international of job offer that you can, you, after your PhD, you can go for postdoc in some foreign research lab. For example, after doing your PhD, you can go to Germany for a postdoc in, in some research lab. And while doing your postdoc, you can try out different companies in the Germany. And if you crack the interview, you can get a offer. So that is another way you can try out after completing your PhD. You can go for a postdoc in a foreign, foreign university and from there, you can try out as an international uh, job offer. The next career choice that you will have once you complete your PhD from India in AI and machine learning is to join academia. You can join IITs, NITs, ISC Bangalore or different state universities after your PhD in AI and machine learning. Now here are two things that need to be discussed. 
first of all after phd it's it's always recommended to do postdoc before applying for these different institutions because you know postdoc is something that these institutions often demand that after your phd you go to some foreign lab we'll be doing some postdoc for a couple of years and then you will come back and then you'll apply for assistant professorship role in different iits or nits or isc so this is something you know it's not mandatory but you know people still prefer that after your phd you will have some research experience then only you know your chance of getting selected or your probability of getting selected for these institution as assistant professor increases now the second thing is the age criteria uh, so this is also something many of the students is to ask me that for phd uh, the age criteria is 35 so is it a hard criteria uh frankly speaking i don't know uh for nits i know it's a hard criteria for but for other institutions like state government universities or isc or iits whether it's a hard criteria or soft criteria i am not sure because i haven't faced it yet but what i've heard after talking with many professors in iits and isc bangalore that it's not a hard criteria it's expected from you that you apply before 35 but you know if you have a really great profile uh, great research profile that you have done the research in your phd or maybe postdoc then you know they consider uh, your your cv and 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 in that case the uh, age is not that strong criteria but again i am saying i haven't faced it yet so i i can't give a definite answer to it but what are whatever i have i have heard from different professors i am saying that this 35 age is not a strong criteria so this is the second option that you will have that after your phd if you want you can join academia as this assistant professor now among industry and academia what typically people prefer to choose what i have seen 80 to 90 percent student each year that who have done their phd in ai machine learning they prefer to join industry and one of the prime reason as i already mentioned is the salary part the salary gap between the assistant professor in academia and an entry level researcher or a data scientist in industry is huge as a assistant professor in academia probably your salary will be 1 lakh 10000 or 20000 rupees i don't know the exact figure but it's like that but in industry whenever you'll be joining your salary will be at least 2 to 3 lakh so the gap is there even it can be more than that so that is one of the prime reason that people my students prefer to join industry and you know in industry there are a lot of flexibility you know even if your profile is not that great you can join some startup or some middle tier company and then after working there few years you can switch to uh top top product based companies or top mncs but in academia you know your choice is very limited there are few iits few good iits few good nits that is there for you and the competition is also huge because you know the number of seats are limited and your this profile has to be really really great to get uh, selected in these iits and iisc uh, so that's why you know people often prefer to join industry but having said that you know if you are someone who loves to loves to teach students and who want to continue the research uh, because in industry your research component will be will be low you have to uh, mostly you know work on developing some product of for for your company so research will be gone if you join industry frankly speaking but if you are someone who want to continue your research and who want research independence that means you know i am interested to work on a particular problem so that's why i'll be continue my research on that particular problem in that setup academia is good because no one will force you to do a specific kind of research in industry it may happen that uh, probably you are you are you are chosen for nlp researcher role but what kind of problem you will be doing that company will decide because company has some goal and based on that they have some problem statement that they want to be get solved so in that case once you join the company you will be you will be asked to solve that particular problem you may not be interested for the particular problem but you have to do it because it's a it's a job that you have to do and you are getting paid for that but on the other hand academia the research independence is there you know you can choose that i'll be working on that particular problem and you can freely to work on that particular problem nobody will ask you uh, to do otherwise so that is the kind of things and based on that people are kind of deciding whether they will go for academia role or the industry role now apart from these two primary job option that is job in academia or job in industry there are a few other option is also available for not only ai machine learning phd student but for all kind of phd student that you can prefer to join psus uh, if you if you have completed your phd is very early age maybe 27 or 28 you have completed your phd they can, then you can you can prefer to go for any psus because psu age limit is around 28 to 30 in that range so you can you can prefer to appear for uh, psu interview and if you can crack it you can join some psus 
you can join some government uh, research labs like uh, you know isro drdo bar these labs also they often take phd students so you can ap apply there and you can join there i have seen uh, during my uh, isro days that there are few phd students also they are working in isro now apart from that i have seen a few people they often go for a uh, postdoc they prefer after their phd they prefer to go for postdoc and they start working in a research lab in in a foreign country and then you know they continue doing research there in that lab and they become a research scientist in in those lab so this is also something very very common that you go to foreign country to do research in some lab as a postdoc and then you convert your postdoc in a in a permanent job in that lab so that is also something um, very much possible so these are the different options apart from the academia and industry job that is also available for so yeah that's it about the video these are the different options that you will have if you complete your phd in ai machine learning from indian institutions i hope i have clarified everyone's doubt who who asked me this question that what are the options that you will have if i join phd in ai machine learning in different iits and iis and complete my phd from india then what are the options that will be there in my hand after five years because this is i understand this is a big confusion for students because you know it's a five year deal the phd is a five years deal so uh, you know you have a lot of confusion that after five years what are the jobs that will be available for me so i hope this video will be kind of a guidebook for you that what are the options that will be there for you but yeah obviously i will say that if you are choosing to uh, join phd make sure you have a very good research profile after completion after completion of your phd so that you know all these options will be smooth for you if you have a really good profile uh, whatever you want to choose if you if you want to choose to join google research for example if you have a good profile you can join there or probably if you want to join a, a good iit as a student professor that will also be possible if you have a good research profile so yeah that is about this video if you like this video uh, hit the like button and share this video to other people also who are also having this kind of confusion and if you are new to this particular channel again i am requesting you to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about this video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye